Yo, Bingers, welcome back. Thanks for clicking, or should I say, welcome, dear viewer. Because it's October, that means it's Halloween time, and we're celebrating by checking out this Marvel comic from 1989, Count Dracula. Now, if you're not familiar with Count Dracula, that was a British cartoon that aired on Nickelodeon back in the late 80s and was a spinoff of Danger Mouse, which is in the second half of this comic book. And there are episodes here on YouTube. I definitely recommend checking it out. I love just the intro music alone. I always got in trouble for turning up the TV too loud. And this is the earliest numbering that I have in the series. I had to order this through the mail to my house. I don't remember ever seeing this at a newsstand or at the comic shop. All right, let's get into this. Good day, loyal reader. I am eager. Humble man, a uh, bird servant to the eternal counts of Castle Ducula. As you know, the latest incarnation in the family went slightly askew. Good old boy. Resulting much to my everlasting shame in the creation of <clears throat> Count Ducula, the vegetarian vampire. Antipasto, anyone? But tonight things will change. Master shall earn his bat wings at last. Just listen to that blood-curdling scream echoing off the walls of Castle Ducula. And we got here Star Comics. That was their kid line. Count Dracula, guess who we're having for dinner? Michael Gallagher is the writer, Warren Kremer is the artist and colorist, Grace Kremer, letterer, Sid Jacobson, editor, and Tommy D. E. I. C. Well, there's no need to show of what things under control for your special guest tonight. Sorry, Nanny, I'm just so nervous. Mm, my shriek seems to have turned the cream sour. Correction, make that a milk curdling scream. Oh boy, soon the love of my life will be arriving. Vanna Von Goosling. Mr. Eagle, if Ducky Bears doesn't get out of the kitchen, I'll never finish my seafood at Spiderweb Souffle. Wouldn't that be a tragedy? And I tell you here, Count Dekula's love interest began accumulating in Count Dekula number three, Love at First Bite. And I, I always felt lost that I didn't have the first four issues of this series. Oh, go, Mr. Eagle, you're such a tease. Go on with you. No, no, no. This is, where is he going in such a hurry? Sounds like he's in the wine cellar. You mean wine and vinegar? Good man, Igor. He's going to help me select the proper salad dressing for dinner. Come, come, Igor. No lying down on the job. Let's see. How about a bottle of 76,000 Islands or an 82 Paul Newman's? Meanwhile, down in the village of Transylvania. Oh, dear. I must leave for my dinner engagement at Castle Tecula. Thank goodness he's not home yet. It is so ironic that I am the niece of Tecula's worst enemy, the world's greatest vampire hunter, Uncle Dr. Von Gooswing. That's me, darling. What's for dinner? I'm starved. Mm, I think there's some goose liver pate in the fridge, Uncle. Uh, I've got to go. Big sale at the mall. See you later. Huh? Taxi. Huh? Vanessa's acting strangely. On Lester's odd looking piece of paper that fell out of her purse. Is some sort of invitation. Hmm. Your presence is requested for dinner at Arc du Livre She's going to dine with the vampire at Castle Tucula. Thank you, driver. What do I owe you? N -n Nothing, lady. Just let me escape with my life. Giddy up. <laughs> like the, the expression on the horse's face there. Gee, a free ride. That hardly seems fair. Oh, well. I'll get it. Ducky shoes. Booze. Ducky booze, dear. Vanna Dumpling. Come, my dear. While Igor and Nanny shall make last-minute preparations, we shall repair to the North Tower balcony. Repair? Gee, I didn't bring my toolkit, honey. Just a figure of speech, Lambkins. The view will take your breath away. <laughs> and that's not all she'll have taken away tonight. <laughs> Once Count Dracula has tasted blood potion number nine, I'll pour it into the goblet. Whoever drinks this can't help becoming a slathering bloodthirsty vampire. All set, Nanny. I'll call the master and his victor, uh, girlfriend to the table. All right. Who way this is... Been quite a stressful day. I'm exhausted and thirsty. 
I'll just take a quick sip of Ducky Boo's drink, then I'll really feel it. I hunger for a quick bite of someone's dick. Ghosts just want to have fun. Dinner is served. Walk this way. See, I told you Igor's the greatest. Rocks, can you get a straight line like that? Indeed. Now, where has Nanny gone? Uh-oh. Perhaps we're out of a salt substitute again. What is that rumbling? It must be thunder. Hmm. It's not like Nanny to leave a broken goblet lying about. Oh, sir, speaking of lying, I've betrayed your trust. <laughs> Allow me to make a confession. Blah, blah, blah. Hear this, Count Dracula. You shall not have my niece. Dr. Von Gusling fears no vampire duck. Oh, did it, sir? But the vampire nana? That's another situation entirely. Help! Meanwhile, so eager, you intended to force me to be a vampire. My shame is boundless, sir. This is my letter of resignation. How many alls are in sovereign's pay? Not a chance, Igor. I can't. You can't leave me. Oh. Igor, old shoe, you're not just an employee, you're family. You were just overdoing your job. Remember, I gotta be me. Oh, sniff, sir. So. Egad, my lord, what about Nanny? She's drinking blood potion number nine. So you don't think she's become a vampire? <laughs> Here's Nanny! Y'all call her off! Indeed I do, sir, and please don't call me Shirley. My uncle! Oh dear, Nanny looks so ferocious. Save him, Ducky Choose. That's Boo, sweetheart, Ducky Boo's. Look, it's easy to remember. B-O-O. -O. Just do it! Yoink! Yes, dear. Well, Igor, the honeymoon's over. What do we do? Not to worry, sir. I had the antidote standing by just in case this sort of plot twist occurred. The question remains, how do we get Nanny to drink it, sir? Give it to me. I know what to do. Here they come again. Ach, the liniment. I can't go on. I give up. Blah. Nanny, over here. It's your ducky booze. I don't have any clean underwear. Uh, what? The ducky booze? N n no clean under underwear. Correct. Shame, shame on you. That's a very naughty nanny. Brilliant. The master's reached her subconscious true self by invoking her worst fear. No, no, naughty nanny. Oh, naughty nanny must be punished. Exactly. You've got to take your medicine. Oh, dear, dear me. Yeah, I feel a bit tipsy. Pff, wow. Well, she's out cold, unaware of anything, just like normal. And she'll be herself in the morning, sir. Uncle. He's perfectly fine, Miss Von Gooswing, merely exhausted from the chase. Oh, thank goodness. All because of my brave Count Decula. I'm so sorry I yelled at you. Forget it, Angel Cake. These family things do come up. If it's all right, sir, I'll take the doctor home. I can tell you wish to be alone. Thank you, Igor. Yeah, thanks. What do you think? What do you want to do, dearest one? Well, we never did get any supper. Would you like Chinese food? Come on, nothing to it. I'll just hop into the magic coffin and teleport us to Peking. And then we'll find a restaurant. Oh, ducky foos, I can't tell. I can tell my adventures are just beginning. But for us, Dancer... The adventure has reached the end. And that was, and you can see here's the, uh, I'll flip through here and you can see the little Danger Mouse story. Did you ever have one of these? I think my older brother had one. You thought it was remote control, but you had to, you just spun it around on like a string. And this is kind of like the ad where I ordered Count Ducula. There's your, uh, there it is, there's your fan mail, you see? And then this right here. For the first time ever, all comics mailed in collective clear bags. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Till next time, I'll see you in the back of your shoes. Or should I say, good night out there. Whatever you are. <laughs> 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 <laughs>